All right, here we are again for the second part of your review for 6.1 through 6.3. This is going to be much shorter, so let's get started. Okay, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20. These are the plug -em in answers. Number 20 you might have a little bit of a harder time on. Um, my suggestion is you kind of ignore the first, uh, or not ignore, but work uh, independent of the first radical sign to simplify what's under the radical and then throw that radical sign back on top of it. So we're looking to reduce 6 sine to the 4th x to something that does not have a, a, uh, an exponent greater than 1. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Um, sine squared x is 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. And then we have to square it because we have sine to the 4th x. The next thing I'm going to do is I still have my 6 out there, and I'm going to change this to 1 minus 2 cosine 2x plus cosine squared 2x. Because what I'm doing is I'm doing my binomial expansion again of 1 minus cosine 2x. And of course that's over 4 now because we have to square the 2 also. So I'm going to separate it out. So I'll have 1 fourth minus 2 fourths, which is 1 half cosine 2x plus 1 fourth cosine squared 2x. So the only problem we have now is getting rid of the squared in the cosine squared 2x. I'm going to copy down what I had and I'm going to change my cosine squared 2x to 1 plus cosine 2 2x over 2. And now I have 1 fourth minus 1 half cosine 2x plus 1 eighth um, once again, separating out my, my last um, fraction. Uh, one fourth times one is one eighth, and one fourth times cosine two, two x over two is cosine four x over eight. I can put these two numbers together since they I can collect like terms. So it's going to be six times three eighths minus one half cosine two x plus cosine four x over eight. And then when I go ahead and distribute my 6, I get 9 over 4 <clears throat> minus um, 3 cosine 2x plus 3 fourths cosine 4x. Four and that is my final answer. That's a tough one. Good luck, folks. I'll see you later.